The army thought the laborers were members of IPOB and shot them to death. Premium Times newspaper reports that three persons were killed on Tuesday when troops of the Nigerian army raided Orsu Ihitekwa, a community in Orsu local government area of Imo State. According to this report, the raid was carried under the guise of launching an onslaught against suspected members of the ESN, the militant wing of the outlawed IPOB. However, a resident of the community, Friday Nwajo, who spoke to the newspaper about the incident, said that the troops operating in armored vehicles opened fire on residents. According to him, suspected ESN members threw an explosive device at the troops who began shooting sporadically. The source claimed that the victims of the onslaught were laborers who went into hiding as a result of the shooting. He said, when they, the two laborers, came out, they thought the soldiers had left, so the soldiers saw them and shot them to death, thinking they were ASN members. However, the army spokesman Oyema Wanchuku, who detailed the raid in a statement on Wednesday, said that the two members of the proscribed IPOB were shot dead. According to him, the IPOB members had taken position to launch one of their primed rocket launchers when they were engaged and taken out by the vigilant troops. The Brigadier General just added that impoverished and locally fabricated explosive devices and rocket launchers were discovered during the operation. What do you think about this? Well, of course, they were laborers in a farm. So if you're going to talk about impoverished and locally fabricated, why would a militant wing use that to fight against you? And it's so funny because really, like the, the Nigerian soldiers in the army just the people you're meant to be fighting you're not fighting i don't understand because the whole reason as to why esn even exists is because well it seems like you guys were too busy to care about Igbo lives with the herdsman crisis so they decided to you know be established and decide to protect their people i mean the nigerian army invaded an Igbo community in most states According to the report, the raid was carried under the guise of launching an onslaught against members of ESN. An onslaught? And you're saying this? I mean, I think to a very large extent, the, the blatant hatred the Nigerian government has for Igbos is just... It's literally beyond... I mean, you'd actually be surprised. Like, wow, like... For a country that wants to be democratic, that's part of the UN, you know, talking about all these things. You're very, you're very, very, you know, what's the word? Very raw and very crude and very open and unashamed of your hate for these people. You, I mean, it's it's no surprise they've been, the Nigerian army has been going into evil areas and using the guys of attacking IPOB. To kill innocent Igbo people. And really, whether it's Igbo or IPOB, I think they're already satisfied because they've killed people from the Southeast. So really, they can go and say, oh, great. So how do we hold them accountable for what they've just done? Because we cannot say that these individuals have committed any crime. In fact, the intention to go and look for ASN you know, uh, members is already in itself. Looking for ASN members to onslaught them is already a problem. So, yeah. They're only strong in killing harmless, unarmed Igbo youth in their struggle for survival. But every death will be accounted for someday, 100%, and they should be scared. Very, very scared. Why would the same person throw explosives on troops that were on their own? Our people should be very careful. Don't just try touching and lying, even if it's presumed to be sleeping. So said an Igbo proverb. According to him, the IPOP members had taken position to launch one of their primed rocket launchers when they were engaged and taken out by the vigilant troops wow <laughs> listen i think we have just seen that the nigerian government has proudly just um taken innocent lives of Igbo people i mean it's not the first time they i mean 2019 2020 2021 you know the nigerian army trooping into the southeast and killing anybody suspecting to be ipop members 
but in fact turns out that they're not in fact they also you know how they have the esn for the for ipop and they also the government itself um was it it must have been emo i'm not sure but there's also um esn as well that is not eastern you know, security network but if we are good security network actually which of course it's like they want to carry it's like when when that came out and was established i just thought you know what they want to carry atrocities and just blame it on esn that is hyper but really you know even these ones that are that were i guess competition to say you know what we are also esn by the government have also been seen to have been killing their own so really i don't i don't know and I doubt, and I really doubt that Igbos will be wanting to kill themselves if they're part of the part of the army. And trooping into societies, Igbo society. Why are they not doing the same in the southwest of the country? In fact, not that we wanted to not to use that argument on, on 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 um harmless people, but with the north as well, you have bandits, you pay bandits to continue what they do. But these individuals just want their right to leave Nigeria, and that is a problem. Like, what? I don't understand. I really. How can soldiers be shooting innocent people like this? Well, really, they have been. So, really, I don't think now is the time to be surprised. It's just a bit more. Um, Okay, now we're gonna vote for new people, but these atrocities will just go by. These eight years have just not been for nothing. I mean, we understand how Buhari is very incompetent and pretty much dung. Um, so really, to let them get away with this would be the bigger crime. I think if we really, I'm come on, sorry. What they have damaged? They've damaged society so bad, so bad. The amount of atrocities in these eight years, oh my days. It's like, hello, let's even write a script. But really, it's like we can't be surprised. If we're not looking to hold them accountable and just thinking, you know what, let's vote in a new government and things will change. It's not going to change because it seems like all this is already a vendetta against Igbo people. And really, yeah. Unprofessional useless Nigerian army just killing innocent people. They know what they're doing. Please. You know what they're doing. You're telling me you can't fight bandits, but you can fight armless, you know, unarmed citizens that are just, who just happen every single time to be from the Southeast. Please. Let them go to Zamfara and shoot the terrorists. Even if they are IPO members, should the military kill them at random? Exactly. Are they criminals? Has the court found them and sentenced them to death by firing squad? Well, bandits, terrorists, and Boko Haram. I'm tired of this conversation. We have had this conversation for so long. So if you still want to vote this Nigerian government that will not take accountability for what it has done, especially to the egos, then pff, go with it. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.